Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a, a Libra Sun Moon and as well rising a weekly tarot reading September 16th to 22nd and uh, bear with me a second guys to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump right into it. Um, <clears throat> all right, so uh, the first card, which uh, represents the topic of uh, your week here, is going to be the King of Wands, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to go through uh, throughout the week and overcome eventually. That will be the Tree of Pentacles. Third one here, it is the Page of Swords, which represents the positive aspect of uh, the week. And then the last one, that will be the Justice card, which stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. So for what it seems here, that, that week is going to go under the banner or the insignia, if you prefer it that way. You trying to synchronize your, let's say, work or whatever you're going through with a... Um, a, pers a person, personality, which is there to skyrocket you, okay? That, 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 that will be someone who sees potential uh, in either your, in either you as a potential partner into relationship or into your projects as well and wants to uh, bring them literally into the, uh, into the next level. But before we go into all that and scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the King of Wands here as a topic, followed by the next one, which is the Tree of Pentacles that stands as a challenges. Afterwards, uh, that will be the Page of Swords, which represents the positive aspect of the week here. And the last one, uh, it, it will be the Justice card, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so King of Wands as a topic, it will be catalyzed or uh, accompanied with the Two of Swords. So uh, this is a, an active friends type of a, a combination. So what the King of Wands is really is, well, that is a very um, futuristic person. Futuristic in a sense of that this person does not concern himself with the past, even with the present, all right? Everything that that person sees is the future and how bright the future can be. So in other words, that person sees you in the future, let's say, and sees um, how well you can find yourself in with them, regardless of where, of what kind of a field they are approaching you into. King of Wands, it's um, a very capable a personality that it is able to transform ideas into a powerful, powerful drive and actions and eventually, you know, execute those ideas. So that being said is that if you do have, let's say, an, an idea that um, nobody wants to listen to, well, congratulations. It does look like that this week you are to find the source of help you need to develop that idea. But nonetheless, you need to know that the King of uh, Wands is not someone who easily overlook things, all right? Now, <clears throat> 
such person always strives for perfection. So there won't be any compromises when it comes to cooperation together. Uh, with the two of swords, uh, this person is, uh, it, it, it is very open-minded. So he always considers a new opportunities, new options available, different ways how one goal can be achieved. So to get, so that, that, that speaks for a pretty much well, uh, pretty much established a creative expression in between you and him. And a huge, uh, how do you say it, room for synchronization as well, especially if that person manifests in regards to uh, your relationship. That is someone that can always make the things work out despite of how big differences you may have in between each other. Now, the next card stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here, and that will be the Tree of Pentacles. It is catalyzed or accompanied here with the Two of Wands. Formation, it is a uh, <clears throat> passive neutrals, okay? And as a passive neutrals, those two cards are, are representing the, um, how do I say it? The, uh, it's more like the recognition that there are better ways you can do something. There are better ways how you can present yourself in front of the crowd, let's say being more attractive, all right, or better ways how you how you get your job done as well. And those better ways will require from you to push yourself a little bit, you know, to acknowledge those kind of um, details that you can simply do better. So uh, the challenge itself is gonna reside into a criticism, okay, and cooperation as well with the King of Four Wands. When you start cooperating together, regardless if this is going to be career or relationship, make no mistake, that person is gonna pick points, you know, what you can do simply better and what is uh, what you are doing wrong according to them that is and uh, the challenging thing here is for you to listen and to find a way you know to do or rather like to perform the way they not exactly want you to perform but the way they are suggesting you to perform all right so it's like a little bit going out of your way uh, to uh, polish your skills, your knowledge, or your presence as well. So the next one here is going to be the uh, positive aspect, and that will be the Page of Swords. Uh, it is catalyzed or accompanied with the Seven of Wands. So the formation, it is a active friends that we do have here. And in this particular case, uh, it's it's a bit um, contradictive, right? Because the page of uh, the page of swords in this uh, in this particular case appears as a unexpected source of help or unexpected source of sobriety. That is, so what that person this is another person though. It is not the the king of wands. It is someone who is not that substantial for your future, but yet it is a, an important part of uh, of your surroundings. That could be a good friend, you know. It could be your sister or your brother could be that faithful co-worker that you are working together and etc etc but the point is that the the uh, this page of swords is going to open your mind to consider the new possibilities uh, it, it is it is no different than uh, this person that comes around and tells you it is it is time something to change you know it is time that you change for the better for good you know and for for a um for to be able to chase a, a greater schemes, like encouraging you to change your job, encouraging you to change uh, uh, the way you interact with the environment and etc, etc. Important thing here as well to be acknowledged with these two cards is that that page will be very aware what is real and what is not real. So that being said, when the King of Wands approaches you and give you the offer or tries to cooperate with you, even if you are feeling a bit reluctant or even if you are feeling a bit um, you know skeptical let's say the page will uh, bombard you with the uh, with arguments mm, proving you wrong and uh, proving the situation itself how beneficial that is uh, and the last card for you is going to be the guidance that is to be the justice card and it is catalyzed or accompanied here with the um with the chariot formation active neutrals and what these two cards are pointing is that while you can be as successful as you can on your own uh maybe it's gonna take more than you have to pay maybe it's gonna take more time that you have to invest in so what these two cards here are urging you is to approach the situation smart rather than hard so work smart 
rather than hard. That being said, is that sometimes allegiance, or rather like forging alliances, it is a more beneficial than trying to toil on your own accord. That being said, um, when you forge that alliance with the King of Wands, you know, uh, it looks like that you are going to start immediately feel the ease of the burdens because you will be able to transfer some burdens into the King of Wands. You will be able to transfer some chores and uh, together you can achieve a great things. So uh, that being said, Libra, just a few, um, <clears throat> few thoughts at the end of the reading and they, they could be as well a few examples if you will. So... Um, it looks like that the week itself will uh, allow you to push forward once again uh, with uh, a big idea of yours or w with a big wish of yours, that is. But uh, at the same time, it will require from you to give up of some outdated uh, way of performance and some outdated, um, how do you say it? Um, I would say standpoints. And as well, it's not even ideas, but it is more like attitudes, right? And uh, try to face the, 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 the open wild world, uh, openly wide uh, world, that is, because the options that this person is going to uh, pre uh, present you to explore are, uh, in most cases, are going to be more than you have imagined. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading, September 16th to 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.